Here are a bunch of really great websites that are so cool I had to share them with you. So let's just get right into it. I know many of us are professional Amazon shoppers. You want a blanket burrito? You got it. You want a yodeling pickle? Yep, that too. So it's pretty easy to find anything you're looking for when you know what you're looking for. But when it comes to clothes, things are a little harder to find. Let's say you saw an amazing outfit online and you just want to search for that jacket. What do you even type? Nothing, because you're gonna go to amazon.com forward slash style snap. Now, when you get to this webpage, you're gonna upload the photo that you've saved and screenshotted from the internet, and ta-da, there it is. It identifies that this person is wearing jeans. What kind of jeans? These are the similar style of jeans that this person may have on. Do you see those little dots? If you click on them, it refreshes it and shows you that particular item. In this case, the pair of shoes, and then the jacket. It's actually pretty amazing that he can do that from a random photo I grabbed. Okay, so it's dinner time, you look in the fridge and you have a handful of random items to use to cook something up. Uh, maybe you should have added Amazon food to your cart, but of course you didn't. And even the Uber Eats guy kind of gives you the side eye. So what do you do? Well, you head over to this website. This is supercook.com and the first thing you do when you get to the website is you're going to add the ingredients that you currently do actually have and they get added to the pantry. Now the more ingredients that you add to your pantry, the more items that you have laying around your home, well the more recipes that this is going to be able to put together for you based on those ingredients. So based on the items that I have, it can make 159 recipes and if I add olive oil, when well, that goes up to 205. Okay, so what are my options? I scroll down, find something, click on it, I look at the ratings, I can see the ingredients, just to confirm that I do actually have everything. I can see the calorie counts and nutritional factors at the bottom, and then I simply can go and click on view full recipe, and then go ahead and make it. So you know when you watch a TV show or a movie, they usually have awesome soundtrack to set the mood between the scenes or just some general good vibes. I often want to know what song that was, but of course it's on for a short period of time and usually dialogue on top of it, so shazamming that is just simply not a possible. Well now I discovered TuneFind. So tunefind.com is the website you want to head out to. I'm going to do a quick search for Stranger Things. Select the episode, select the season, and there it identifies the exact song that we'll use, who sang it, the artist, where can you listen for it, and you can even push the play button and have a little sample to make sure it's the right one. If you could go back in time, let's say one year or five years, what would you tell your younger self, besides which stocks to buy, of course? Well, you can actually do that. Imagine in five years time, opening up your email and seeing an email that you wrote to yourself from today. How amazing would that be? What would you even say to your future self? What would you say to your kids or to your partner? I love this so much, and check this out. Head over to futureme.org, where you can write a letter to the future. Simply begin typing anything that you want to tell yourself in a couple of years and this email will pop up in the inbox. So I've got myself a little letter here. I want to deliver it in three, five years. I want to choose a specific date. I want to make this letter either public or private. I'm going to keep mine on private and I'm going to put my email address and then of course send to the future. All right, as you know, I'm from South Africa and we love our African wildlife. Used to spend so much time outdoors at the various game resorts by now being in the US, I kind of miss those night drives, looking for those lions or stumbling across a herd of elephants. To get my wildlife fix, I head over to this next website, explore.org. And the top, you've got a whole bunch of categories to choose from. I'm going to choose Africa, of course. I'm going to choose Africa. Oh my God, look at that. A herd of elephants captured live. This is happening right now with the little baby calves. This is so cool. You don't like that, got onto the ocean, what's going on under the sea? Don't even, don't, 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 don't even. And if you wanna see the cutest things in the world, go and click on Dogs Bless You. And these doggies are sleeping and we can watch this. This is pretty cool. And of course, you can just zen out to amazing nature around the world. Now, speaking of travel, right now airports are an absolute disaster around the world. Thousands of flights being cancelled, luggage being lost, and lines wrapped around the building. So road trips are the thing to do. But let's be honest, long road trips are not super fun unless you know about this website. 
Go to makemydrivefun.com, put your source and destination, and then it will pick out all the cool things to do along the way. It even works internationally. Here's from Johannesburg to Cape Town, and I simply hover over the items, and I can go check it out. Look, there's something magical about being at the beach and hearing those waves roll up, or being in the forest, hearing those birds chirping as you walk by a stream. So in between our various road trips, let's bring those awesome nature sounds indoors with this site. Head over to noises.online and you see this website with a whole bunch of various icons. Each one of those is a different scene, different mood, and you can simply click on it. You can create your entire scene and simply let this beautiful music play in the background as you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Whilst I love gaming today on my PlayStation or my Oculus VR, I remember growing up pre-internet days where I had to save some money to go down to the arcade and put some money in the box to be able to play. Now, if you want a trip down memory gaming lane and play those old nostalgic 1980s arcade games, you're gonna just love this website. Head over to free80arcade.com and here's all those retro games that we used to spend hours and hours at the arcade playing these before we had computers at home. Yes, we are that old, get over it. I mean, this is a classic, Kung Fu. This was awesome. And of course, the one and only Donkey Kong. Okay, I spend way too much playing arcade games, which is pretty accurate actually. Let me know out of these sites which was your favorite, and if you want more epic sites to check out, check out this video over here, or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe, and I'll see you in this video, or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.